Okay, shoe goo. So this is the uh, American made shoe goo. So it is good for repairing stuff and also it is best for covering sewing to protect it because if you wear out sewing it's rather expensive to get our man to go and repair it. He charges about $70 a boot to go in and repair seams and uh, that can be quite expensive can't it when you add it up between two pairs of boots because normally it's two pairs that end up getting worn out. Now so far you know sewing uh, we can reduce the amount of sewing in a boot we, we can't sort of completely eliminate sewing so it's best to cover it with some shoe goo and then you don't have to ever worry about it getting a braid door cut because this stuff sticks on and lasts very well it lasts better than anything else I've tried on here and I replace soles on boots so speaking from experience this uh, rubber conglomeration or whatever they've made this boot out of um, nothing would stick to it and um, yeah we've got two different variations we've got a contact kind of a um, adhesive we use and also a heat activated one neither of them were successful so just a bit of this shigu and uh, it's fixed the job and here it's done a very nice tidy job of going over the seam here and protecting it for the rest of the life of this boot excellent so we can't recommend it highly enough now this is three years old I think it's just coming to the end of its longevity because I recently had it go at covering some sewing on a pair of boots I'd resold and I just want to repair a section of the sewing that was you could see on the top of it had been roughed up and when the sewing on the top looks roughed up you know that it's getting abraded by um, environmental causes such as uh, it could be the man's gaiters yes if you rub uh, fabric against fabric and a lot of these gaiters are made out of tough fabric uh, then of course you get wear and tear and also of course things like gravel and sticks and all those sorts of things create abrasion to sewing in the environment so if you cover it up then you don't have a problem with it and it saves yourself a lot of money and as I say I suspect it's getting to the end of it it's uh, cool at the moment it was a bit uh, difficult to spread it on the boot I uh, didn't do a very tidy job of it, not like this is nice and smooth but this was done about in the summertime about six months ago and uh, this tube, well, I mean it's over three months, three years old um, I've half used it, um, it's $20 a tube um, so yeah $20 and uh, up to that point I probably could have done for know four or five pairs of boots covering all their seams and that sort of thing um, and you know if it was uh, somebody going and repairing that uh, those boots at um, $150 a pair of boots you know times five that's uh, five seven hundred fifty dollars <laughs> that's cheap so it's well worth getting some comes in black or clear um, clear is quite a good idea because you can actually see how thick you've kind of covered the sewing um, but you know here again um, when you first get it, it's quite liquidy and it settles down quite quite evenly I can just sort of see some sewing here you probably can't but just some little indentations that indicate you know that the shigo is just covering that sewing by a little bit but that's enough that's all you need just enough so it doesn't get abraded it lasts longer and saves you some money. Good stuff.